On the bearing shell back and joint surface, check for fretting, substance buildup, or any foreign objects. Use a spherical micrometer to check the amount of abrasion. Check for damage or fretting on the serrated joining surface and rod part. Perform a color check to check for cracks on the serrated surface. Check for damage and abrasion on the screw and mating surface of the crank pin. The crank pin bolt and connecting rod connecting bolt may have wear due to embedding after long operation. If this is found, a new tally mark must be applied. Tighten the crank pin bolt at torque A without the bearing shell. Spray the mating surfaces of the bolt with molly coat. At the prescribed torque, tighten the bolts to this order. One, four, two, three, one. Make a connection mark for torque A on the bolts, then tighten them to the B mark. Follow this same procedure when inspecting the connection rod connection bolts. Before putting a torque A mark on a new bolt, Put the old bolt number on it and tighten it a couple of times so that it fits to the torque B mark. You can measure the inside of the large end bore when the bolts are tightened to their prescribed torque. 